In this video, I will show you how JunoViewer can batch automate the calculation of historical deterioration rates on a road network. I will also explain how JunoViewer intelligently provides best guess values for road segments where there is insufficient data available to determine historically observed deterioration rates. Let's first look at what deterioration rates are and why we want to calculate it. We start by considering the rut death population on a section of road. So here you can see that we have our typical population of data on the road section. And as time goes by and we do more road surveys, we get an indication that this road is deteriorating over time. Now when we run a deterioration model, we are interested in predicting condition into the future. In other words, future predicted performance. But what we want to do is to use the historically observed performance to inform our deterioration model about what is likely to happen in the future. So with the deterioration rate calculation tool, I can choose a specified percentile value and then calculate the historical deterioration rate on those values. I can then use the, that deterioration rate in my model to predict what the most likely future rut increments and rut depth values are going to be. And of course, I will use that historically observed rut rate only up to the point where a treatment is performed. And from that point on, my model should assume a new deterioration rate de depending on which treatment had been performed. So let's see how Junovio does this. On the left here, you can see the screen that is used by Junoviewer to calculate deterioration rate. Initially, we specify which network we want to use and the version of the FordWorks program. We also in instruct JunoViewer to combine any rut depth measurements taken closer than 30 days apart into one another to form a single survey, such as that shown by these population of points here. Next, we specify which parameter, data parameter in our database JunoViewer should use which is essentially the value on our y-axis here. We also specify the percentile that must be used in the calculation. And that is what the deterioration rate will then be calculated on. JunoViewer can also use a treatment date that is expected to be in your FordWorks program by checking this box over here and selecting the column which contains the last surfacing or last treatment date, which is then um, schematically represented by this line of a year. And Juniview would then go back in time and use all the data right up to that last treatment. Or if you specified for Juniview to use a shorter time period, such as the three year period I've specified here, then Juniview would only go back that specified period of time or to the last treatment, whichever comes first. What about segments of road in my FordWorks program where there is insufficient data to get a reliable historical trend? Well, Juno viewer can actually go right through the FordWorks program in each road section, such as road section A, B, C, and so forth, and of course, we are expecting that there is some indication of the surfacing date or last treatment date. And Juniviewer will loop through all of those segments, could be hundreds or several thousands, and batch calculate for you the deterioration rate on each of those segments, as I've explained before. What about the points, such as this one, where there is no data? Well, if there is no data on a specific modeling segment, JunoViewer will use the specified statistics such as the median value to expand the search and calculate the median of the other values on that road segment, in this case road segment A. And any no data values will then be replaced by that specified statistic. What about a road such as a road C where there's no data available at all? Well, in this case, JunoViewer will expand the search and calculate the specified statistic on the entire network and use that to replace the no data value. Of course, in your model, you should take care to eliminate any negative historical rates, which are probably anomalies 
due to maintenance or other activities that you don't know has taken place. So let's take a look at this tool in action. Here I am in Juno Viewer and I'm going to go to the Tools menu and I'm going to go right down to Deterioration Rates. Now there are two options in the Deterioration Rate Calculator tool. One, I can calculate deterioration rates directly into my ForwardWorks program or I can calculate and export the deterioration rates to an Excel spreadsheet. For example, if I want to do further analysis or develop statistical models, I would probably use this option. But if I just want to use my deterioration rates directly in a uh, deterioration model run, I would most likely calculate it directly into my ForwardWorks program. So let's go ahead and do that as explained before. So I'm going to select Network A and my ForwardWorks program version I want to use is called AA Bongo and um, I want to combine any data measured within 30 days of each other into a single survey and the parameter I want to use is the left wheel path mean rut and I want to use the uh, 80th percentile value. I'm going to insert a column called info underscore rut 80th rate into my ForwardWorks program to represent this, these calculated deterioration rates. Where there is insufficient data, I want to use the median value calculated on other segments. And I'm going to assume that my ForwardWorks program has the last surface date and it is in the column called info underscore surf date. Juno Viewer will automatically pick up for you any date columns in your chosen ForwardWorks program and provide them in this drop-down. Finally, I can specify how many years as a maximum I want to go back. So I'm going to say six years, meaning that Juno Viewer will go back right back to the, where it finds the last surfacing date or six years, whichever comes earliest. So now I'm ready to start my calculation. Juno Viewer initiates a long running process on our server which will calculate this for you while you go and have a nice cup of coffee. So here I am in my long running process page and I can see here that Juno Viewer had just started to run this deterioration rate calculation on my ForwardWorks program. And if I just refresh my page, I can see Juno Viewer is still busy with that operation. And it's probably going to take a few minutes depending on how many segments I have in my ForwardWorks program. All right, so here I can see that my process has finished running and it took roughly one minute to execute. I can download a result which just gives me a summary of the calculations that have been done. But remember that in this case, my deterioration rates were inserted directly into my ForwardWorks program. Let's go and have a look at that. So I can go to the data menu I can go to ForwardWorks program and segment sets. And I select the ForwardWorks program into which I've just calculated my deterioration rates. And if I show the top 50 rows and I scroll over, I can see that here I have my RUT 80th rate, which is what I've specified, uh, the, the name of the column that I've specified to be inserted into my ForwardWorks program. And you can see there I have some typical uh, rut deterioration rates calculated and it's ready to roll into my deterioration model. So you can see the deterioration rate calculator is a powerful tool that can significantly enhance the accuracy of your deterioration model. It can also provide useful information about the general rate of deterioration of your network or it can be used to develop statistical models for predicting future deterioration. If you would like to learn more about Juniview's powerful modeling framework, or if you would like to receive notification emails for new videos such as this one, then email us today at info at Thanks for watching.